What the Tech is sponsored by EPB Fiber Optics. Introducing new 2.5 gig internet. It's not just fast, it's recklessly fast. Learn more at EPB.com. Well, summer is a dangerous time for electronics. You know, thousands of phones are damaged or destroyed because, you know, they carelessly get dropped into a pool or a lake. Right, and there are some things you need to know if your phone accidentally takes a dip in the pool. Here's Jamie Tucker with more. So I dropped my phone in water before the break. And don't worry, I'm not dumb enough to use a, my current phone. This is an old phone for demonstration. Here's what you should do if this ever happens. And newer smartphones are rated to IP68. That means they can be submerged into up to one and a half meters of water for up to 30 minutes. But it's important to note that this rating is just for fresh water, not a pool, lake, or ocean. Remember, it isn't just the water, it's the pressure, too. Just two feet of water is about 15 pounds of pressure per square inch. A chlorine and salt can erode whatever protection the phone offers, and a phone with a cracked screen or back will not likely survive since water gets inside. Now, if a phone is submerged, the first step is to remove the case, get as much water as possible out by blowing into any openings, and give it a few shakes. And if dropped into a pool, lake, or salt water, rinse it off. To let it dry, don't use a blow dryer and you don't put it in the sun. Put it in a cool, dry place. And if it's on, turn it off. Do not put the phone on charge. And don't put it in a bowl of rice either. You can place it in a Ziploc bag with some of those silica gel packs you might have saved from a package. And wait. Leave it for hours, even overnight, and then hope it turns back on. If it doesn't, you'll need to take it to an expert technician who can remove the back and see if it's salvageable. And take really good care of that phone if you're going to be near water. If you're going to be on a lake or the ocean, get one of these waterproof bags. They actually float. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.